Good morning everyone. I am Ami, your tech host and welcome to the Daily Tech News Bulletin brought to you by IT Voice. In today's tech news, we will be covering news about introduction of Copilot Plus, PCs by Microsoft, Google's offers to government agencies and corporates, Vivo's launch of Y200 Pro smartphone, CMF's launch of CMF Phone 1, Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge, Bolt's introduction of wireless gaming earbuds, Sundar Pichai's remarks on Google's AI implementation and more. To skip to any particular news story, use the chapters below and don't forget to subscribe to IT Voice and stay up to date on all the latest tech news. Number 1. Today at a special event on the new Microsoft campus, Microsoft introduced a new category of window PCs designed for AI called Copilot Plus PCs. Copilot Plus PCs are the faster and most intelligent Windows PCs ever built. Featuring powerful new silicon capable of 40 plus trillion operations per second, TOPS, all day battery life, and access to advanced AI models. These PCs offer unique capabilities such as recall for finding and remembering content, co creator for generating and defining AI images in near real time, and live captions for translating audio from over 40 plus languages into English. The experience comes to life on thin, light, and attractive devices from Microsoft Surface and OEM partners like. Acer, Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Samsung. Number 2. Google is offering government agencies switching to Google Workplace Enterprise Plus significant discounts and one year free for a three year contract. Corporate customers signing a three year contract can get 18 months free, hefty discounts thereafter, and incident response services from Google's mandate security businesses. All customers will receive free consulting services to facilitate the transition of Google's workspace. Google released a white paper highlighting security lapses in Microsoft software positioning workspace as a safer alternative. Number 3. Vivo is set to launch the Y200 Pro smartphone in India, positioning it against the Infinix GT20 Pro 5G scheduled for the same day. The Y200 Pro will be the highest variant in the Y200 series. Following the launch of Vivo, Y200 and Y200e, the Y2 Pro is expected to feature a 120Hz OLED display, dual camera setup, MediaTek density 7200 chipset and a 5000mAh battery with 33W fast charging. Vivo has teased light green and dark grey as the color options for the Y200 Pro. We bring to the number 4, CMF. A sub-brand of Nothing is set to launch its first smartphone, the CMF Phone 1 in India. The CMF Phone 1 is expected to share many specifications with the Nothing Phone 2A, including a MediaTek Density 7200 chipset and a 120Hz OLED display. The CMF Phone 1 is anticipated to be more affordable and will be available in black moss, electric white and see-through color options. Number 5. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Book 4 Edge comes in a 14 and 16 inch sizes. Designed specifically for AI tasks with Qualcomm's ARM based Snapdragon X series SOCS. Pre ordering includes a free 50 inch crystal UHD 4K TV. Now we are heading to news number 6. Both introduced two new wireless gaming earbuds. Z40 Gaming and Y1 Gaming. Aimed at enhancing the gaming experience, both earbuds offer dual service connectivity, Bluetooth 5.4 technology and a compact gaming board. With ultra low latency of 40 milliseconds for impressive gaming sessions, the Bolt Z40 Gaming TWS AirPods are priced at Rs 1300 only and available in multicolor options. The Bolt Y1 Gaming TWS earbuds are priced at Rs 199 and feature exclusive availability on Flipkart. Coming to the hot breaker, news number 7, Google CEO Sundar Pichai discussed Google's controversial implementation of AI-powered search results on the Decoder podcast with Nilay Patel. Pichai addressed concerns from publishers about Google News system potentially impacting web traffic negatively. Despite concerns, Pichai remained optimistic, emphasizing Google's commitment to prioritizing high-quality content and user satisfaction. Even Pichai discussed the evolution of AI models, particularly Google's Gemini, towards multi-model capabilities incorporating various data formats. This is Ami signing off. Stay tuned and subscribe to the IT Voice for the latest tech news.